Thank you, Brother Chris. <laughs> I just praise God for having the opportunity to stand before you this morning. Amen. Amen. I am nervous this morning. I don't know why. Usually, this particular time, I'm not that nervous, but I, I admit that I am nervous this morning. God, you the answer. You got it. 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 Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because because we have honor to God, praise Him for working out a wretched soul like mine. Amen. Amen. It was desperately wicked. Amen. Not alone. Wasn't fit for anything. Amen. Not alone. Didn't look good. Amen. Didn't even smell good. <laughs> <laughs> praise God. Praise yes, God. I'm not like I used to be. Amen. 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 I want to uh, first this morning introduce some great guys that God has give, uh, given me the opportunity to go into the school system to uh, minister to our kids. And mm -hmm. that's the lead needed in a day like today. Amen. Amen. And I tell you, these guys are faithful in doing what they do. They might not even know what they do. Sometimes it looks like it's, <coughs> it's not, not happening, it's not important. But guys, I uh, say to you this morning, keep doing what you do. Amen. Amen. Desperately need Amen. And one day, one day, one of those same kids was encouraged to give you the fuel that you need to press on. Amen. Amen. Leave that in my heart this morning. Amen. First, I'd like to introduce uh, one of Kyrie the County's finest officer, <laughs> Officer Eddie Kirk. <laughs> is a, 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 a certain <coughs> man that I watch a whole lot because his wife is an evidence of who he is in the school system. His wife is the assistant principal at our school, uh, Brother Jimmy Matthew. Amen. And uh, I'd like to introduce Coach Daly. Coach Daly, uh, sometime when I feel a little bad, uh, feel like things are not going right uh, with me or something that's happening to me during the day. I go over and I sit down on the bleachers and watch Coach Daly. Uh -huh. Coach Daly is an unusual guy. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you a little bit about Coach. Uh, He's a guy that, uh, his legs are not like ours. Our legs are much stronger than his. <laughs> Certain thing he has to do every day to be able to walk like we walk. And when I look at him on the court, teaching our kids, I get encouraged. Amen. Nothing wrong with me. Yeah. Sickness or whatever's hurting me that day, I can go over and feel encouraged and the pain automatically go away when I see Coach Daly in performance. And that's why I watch him. guy that I had a chance to meet three years ago, and he's still doing the same thing I've seen him do three years ago, is Pastor JT. He comes into school and he ministers every Monday. Now it's Monday, but it used to be every Tuesday. And he doesn't miss a beat. Every Tuesday, he's there ministering to our kids with the Word of God. And a young man with children of his own, and he ministers and it's being effective in our schools. Amen. We call them, we call them the men of faith. We are the men of faith. And we keep pressing on, God, because it's very important. This morning, God has given me a word for us. Use this one word. This word, this today is two words. And pay attention, man. This is directed, directed to us as young and old men. Mm -hmm. The sheep and his shepherd. Mm -hmm. The sheep needs the shepherd. Oh, yeah. And the shepherd needs the sheep. Mm -hmm. God's words tells us, the Lord is my shepherd, mm -hmm. and I shall not want. Mm -hmm. One hundred song says that we are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Mm -hmm. right. And God could be no plainer than that. Mm -hmm. uh, the 
speaking to Peter one day, and Peter didn't quite understand, and he said it to Peter three times. He said, if you love me, brother, if you love me, feed my sheep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Feed yeah. my sheep. Yeah, that's good. And this morning, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and speak what God has given me to speak. Usually we will read scripture. And then we'll come back and speak on that. But this morning, I want to speak a little while on, on those two words, and then I'll come back and give you scripture that will back that up. Amen. All right. Amen. All right. Amen. Lord God, as I stand this morning to speak a word that you have given to me, I ask that you just block out anything that I may say that mm -hmm. may cause me to look big and sophisticated. Yes. You know what it is, Father God, that you give me to speak on? Mm -hmm. Just let me open my mouth and be that vessel. Mm -hmm. That you are bringing a word through to us men this morning. Yes. And I'll be careful to give you all the praise for the Lord and yes. In Jesus' name. Amen. Jesus. Amen. Amen. Here it is, my brothers, that we are in a terrible situation. We're in a much terrible situation than we even realize as men. Men, we have missed the point. We have missed the mark. God is holding us accountable as men to be shepherds. And we haven't been being shepherds. We think that we. What we look at today in time that looks like a shepherd mm -hmm. is really not a shepherd. Yeah. Right. The shepherd is not taking care of the sheep. Right. 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 Let me give you an example this morning what I'm speaking of. <clears throat> the drug folks. Mm -hmm. Take it down, brother. We're looking out from we The drug folks are what's going to take us down, and I'll tell you why. If we don't get this shepherd and sheep thing mm -hmm. correct. Mm -hmm. Our young folks are not young. Look around you this morning. Where are our young men? After we're gone, where are the young men that's going to carry on the road? They don't exist. They're not learning. It's not being spoken in their ears that they'll get to, to be shepherds in their family. Not many, not many marriages are going on this day and time. Everybody's shacking up. That's right. So when they get the opportunity, here they done made three or four little sheep in the family. And they decide that they don't want to be shepherds. They spit and they go. Yeah. And they lead the mothers to, to shepherd the little sheep. Yeah. And that's what's going to turn our society out. Oh, yeah. The devil is going to prey on these minds that we are raising up this day and time as quickly as he can. He's going to go into the mind. Mm -hmm. And he's going to deteriorate the mind just like he had my mind deteriorated. I know what a sheep is. Mm -hmm. I know what a sheep is. Because mm -hmm. it hadn't been uh, 10 or 15 years ago when I was a sheep that was designed for, for somebody to help me to get out of this drug situation because I was destroying all my children. As a matter of fact, I had seven children. Mm -hmm. And I was destroying them and my wife. I was sitting and using the drugs in front of them. I was mm. drinking in front of them. Mm. And I came to the point where my wife said, that no more. No. I'm not going to do this no. anymore. Mm. She would get up on Sunday morning and she would take the children and take them to church every Sunday morning. Mama. And I would still sit there mm. until it came to the point that uh, I loved my wife and children. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I did. And uh, I would go to church with them. And finally I decided to, that I would get saved. Mm -hmm. And I would ask Christ into my life. Mm -hmm. And dumb and stupid, I asked Christ in my life. But I made this remark. That no matter how much Jesus I get on the inside of me, I'm still going to smoke my dope. Mm -hmm. And I'm still going to write my bill. <laughs> so praise mm -hmm. God. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Come on, brother. God has a tendency 
when you're striving to be a shepherd that he's called you to be, he'll reach down on the inside. Yeah. And he'll pull out that stuff that don't need to be in there. Yeah. And he'll replace it with something that that stuff can't come back in now. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. the way God yeah. does stuff. That's right. Yeah. And you'll look much better later on in life. Yeah. And you'll smell much it's better. Yeah. 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 I can look back at my wife who is here for support this morning. And, Amen. And Amen. I can see the smile and the glow on her face. But brothers, listen up. If we don't take care of God's business and start being shepherd, true shepherds, mm -hmm. and not over Real fake problem. his shepherd. <laughs> we're going to be in the same situation that other countries that we're looking at on TV right now. Right. We're going to be in that shape, and it won't be long. Ten years from now, if we don't straighten up as Christians and start taking care of these folks that's trying to get off of stuff and they're striving that are coming into the church on Sunday morning or getting saved, and if we don't create something or some kind of committee that's going to walk and talk with them and lead them towards the green grass, that's on the other side. Got a vision. You got a vision, bro. Yes, we got to do that. We got to do that. I'll tell you why I say we got to do that. Because when I was when I was uh, 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 on this stuff, and after I had got saved, before God reached inside of me, mm -hmm. I couldn't hardly wait till the pastor got through with his message to go mm -hmm. right back out the door. door. Mm -hmm. Right back out the church door. The men I got up the devil would grab me and said, I had to have another joke. Mm. Mm. Most of the time, I'm a smoking it on the way home from church. Mm. Mm. I don't know about you all. I don't know where you ever been like that. <laughs> but you would get home and grab a bill when you got home. Mm. Mm. I don't know if you ever had a cigarette or you smoked it on the way home. I don't know where you been like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah.
the same as a thief and a robber. But he that entered in by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. To him the potter opened, and the sheep hear his voice. And he calleth his own sheep by name, and leadeth them out. And when he putteth forth his own sheep, he goeth before them, and the sheep follow him, for they know his voice. And a stranger will they not follow, but will flee from him, for they know it not the voice of a stranger. Then I'm going to drop down to the eighth verse. All that cometh before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not hear them. I am the door. By me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved, and shall go in and out and find pasture. Now I want to go over to the uh, 27th verse. My sheep hear my heart, and I know them, and they follow me. And I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish, neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. I want to hear you. I want, I want to hear something to you. This one. I want to listen. Listen. Do you know who I am? I am cocaine. I am crack. I am marijuana. I am bad and not good. Mm. I'll make prostitutes out of your dog. Listen. Mm. Mm. I'll make son that steal from their grandparents in the town. I'll make you a slave. You don't know who I am. I'm gross, I'm evil, I'm crafty, I'm ugly, I'm depression, I am proud, I'm evil, I'm vile, I'm crooked, I'm unclean, I'm disobedient, I'll kill, I'll steal, I'll rob. I am legions. I am many. I am Satan. I am Luther. Once I've had gotten you, you've been had. My, 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 my. But this is also, which side do you want to be on? There is hope for the sheep. All right. <laughs> Who am I? I am the good shepherd. I come so that you may have life and have it more abundantly. I am that I am. I am Alpha Omega, the beginning and the end. I am love, I am peace, I am kind, I am humble, I am gentle, I am honest, I am truth, the light, and the word. I am the knock on the door. I will heal your nation. I will set you free from sin. Mm -hmm. I'll rid your cities and your communities of roads. I'll call sons and daughters to have peace and joy. I am the Lord your God. I come to set you free. If you love me, feed my sheep. Amen. I'm telling you a little short story. A little girl sitting in New York. In the Bronx. Her and her three her brothers was Neil for three years. At night, and they would pray. I said, Lord Jesus, we know that you're there. Yeah. My mom <laughs> not spend the money that she received on her own. Just help us, Lord Jesus. We're hungry. We didn't have any eat for two days. And mom had been gone for two days. It's night about nine o'clock. Mom opens the door and she comes into the house. Put back to brush down the hall. I want to see her. I didn't grow place that this man ministered to. And God answered the kids' prayer. 
Katie, I'm sorry to man. Those three kids grew up to be ministers in New York. Pray for Ministering them. to others. Thank the word of God doesn't have an effect Amen. on what's around us. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. We got too many people in the White House this morning that's not a few shepherds. They're all concerned about their own interests. That's true. Mm. They'll make it look like that. They're dealing for you. And they're in the best interest of you. But until we put some good, honest, true shepherds in the White House, Come on. we're doomed for destruction. Amen. 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 We raise our children, get them on the right course. Because they're going to be the world of tomorrow. And they look down for us now. But we can turn that around. Mm -hmm. Be shepherds in your own family. And God will bless you as you have me. Amen. His word is for every one of us. Let us sit in here no matter what degrees you have in God's word today. I'm not speaking this word. God is. He loves every one of us in here. And we can go out into our community and make a difference. We can train our children. Our children is what it's going to be all about. We don't lose it. We don't lose it. And we don't go back to shift and out. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Amen.